All right, in this video, we are going to review our letters and letter sounds. And we are just going to take each card and we are going to say the sentence that goes along with each one of them. You can do it along with me, starting with this one. Capital A, little a. A says a ah, as an apple. A says a, ah, a, ah, a. Ah. Our next one. What letter is this? It's the letter B. What does it say? B as a bell. Let's say the sentence. Capital B, little b. B says b as a bell. B says b, b, b. The letter C. What does C say? C says k as a cat. Capital C, little c. C says k as a cat. C says k, k, k. I hope you're saying it along with me. The letter D. What does D say? D says d as a dog. Capital D, little d. D says d as a dog. D says d, d, d. The letter E. Capital E, little e. E says eh as an elephant. E says eh, eh, eh. What letter is this? It's the letter F. And what does it say? F says f as a fox. Let's say the sentence. Capital F, little f. F says f as a fox. F says f, f, f. Moving on to some more. What letter is this? It's the letter G. G says g as a goat. Let's say the sentence. Capital G, little g. G says g as a goat. G says g, g, g. The letter H. H says h as a horse. Capital H, little h. H says h as a horse. H says Come on, I hope you're participating. Next letter. What's this one? It's the letter I. And I says I as an inchworm. Capital I, little I. I says I as an inchworm. I says I, I, I. How are you doing? You getting them right? Next one. J. J says J as a jar. Capital J, little j. J says J as a jar. J says J, J, J. Next. Sorry, these are sliding around quite a bit. What letter is this? It's the letter K. K says k as a kite. Capital K, little k. K says k as a kite. K says k, k, k. What's this one? It's the letter L. You can notice here how little l sort of looks like the number one, but it's different. Let's say the sentence. Capital L, little l. L says ool as a lamp. L says ool, ool, ool. Mmm. What's this one? It's the letter M. What does it say? It says mmm as, as in milk. Let's say the sentence. Capital M. 
Little M. M says m as in milk. M says m m m. Moving on. Hope you're participating still. I don't want you to just watch this. I want you to say it with me. What letter is this? This is the letter N. And what does it say? It says N, as in nest. Capital N, little N. N says N, as in nest. N says N, N, N. What have we got here? This is the letter O. What does it say? It says, ah, as an ostrich. Let's say the sentence. Capital O, little o. O says, ah, as an ostrich. O says, ah, ah, ah. You can notice how capital O and little o look pretty much the same. It's just that little o is smaller. Here we have the letter P. There's a few letters that look kind of similar in their lowercase or little versions. What? This is capital P. It sometimes gets confused with the letter D or the letter B, but this is capital P. It looks like a stick with a ball facing to the right. What does P say? P says P as a pig. Let's say the sentence together. Capital P, little p. P says p as a pig. P says p, p, p. Here's another one that someone might get confused about. You see here? This is the letter Q. Little q sort of looks like little p, except for it's facing the opposite direction. You see? P has the ball facing to the right, and Q has the ball facing to the left. And what does Q say? Q says qu, as in queen. Let's say the sentence for this one. Capital Q, little Q. Q says qu, as in queen. Q says qu, qu, qu. What letter is this? This is the letter R. R says er, as in ring. Capital R, little r. R says er, as in ring. R says er, er, er. Now we have the letter S. The letter S is another one where the capital and the little version of each, or a version of the letter look almost the same. Little s is the same, except for it's just smaller. What does s say? S says s, as in sun. Capital S, little s. S says s, as in sun. S says s, s, s. Next we have the letter T. Capital T and little t. What does T say? T says t, as in table. All right, say it with me. Capital T, little t. T says t, as in table. T says t, t, t. All right, next up, we have the letter U. What does U say? U says a, uh, as in umbrella. Capital U, little u. U says uh as an umbrella. U says uh, uh, uh. All right, what letter is this? It's the letter V. What does V say? V says v as in violin. Capital V, little v. V says v. As in violin, V says v, v, v. All right, I know you're going to like this one. What's this one? It kind of looks like V, doesn't it? 
But V only has one of these little shapes. And W has two. W sounds like two U's. But if that were the case, it should actually be double V. Maybe this letter should have been called double V. But it's not. It's W. What does W say? It says W as in wagon. Let's say the sentence. Capital W, little w. W says w, as in wagon. W says w, w, w. Nice. One of my favorite letters. It's the letter X. Again, here, the capital X and the little x look pretty much the same, except for the little one's just a smaller version. What does X say? It makes the x sound. As in fox, box, and axe. Let's say the sentence together. Capital X, little x. X says x. As in fox, box, and axe. X says x, x, x. It's kind of a fun letter to say, isn't it? Only a couple more. What letter is this? This is the letter Y. What does Y say? Y says Y, as in yarn. Let's say the sentence. Say it with me. Capital Y, little Y. Y says Y, as in yarn. Y says Y, Y, Y. Last one. Can you guess what it is? It's Z. Z is another one, where the capital letter and the little letter are almost the same. One's just a little smaller. What does Z say? Z says Z, like a zebra. Let's say the sentence. Capital Z, little Z. Z says Z, as in zebra. Z says Z, Z, Z. All right. Well, that's all for our capital and little letter review, along with the phonics sounds. Next, we'll move on to something else. I hope you participated.